As a freelancer, deadlines are everything. When your back is up against the wall, trying to balance multiple client projects while also trying to spend time with family and live somewhat of a healthy lifestyle, it can be tough. I design merch for the music industry and the deadlines can be super intense. At times, it feels like my clients need their designs yesterday. They're scrambling put, to put together everything for a whole merch line. Uh, it's my job to crank out ideas and get them whatever they need. These last few weeks, specifically for me, have been suffocating. I have worked on 13 different client projects, and that's like within the last 10 days. And I can remember in one of probably the busiest times of my career, I did about 100 t-shirt designs within a given week. These are usually when a bunch of projects hit at once, and they're usually for whole tour merchandise lines. Um, so it requires a lot of different designs. Um, and unfortunately, most of those designs won't see the light of day, but I digress. Going on nine years of freelancing full time, um, I've experimented with pretty much every sort of way you can try to manage your time and manage client projects. Um, and so where I'm at now, I want nothing to hinder my ability to do as much work as possible. I run a super simple operation here in my home office, so I want to share with you in this video how I manage all of my client projects and all of my different daily tasks for running my freelance business. Let me preface this video by saying that there is no single best way to manage your time. So don't think that how I manage my tasks is how you should manage your tasks. Hopefully, um, by watching this video, you can sort of just pick and choose the things that I do and maybe try them out or apply it to how you manage your time. For me, apps full of different features can appear to be super useful, but then it turns into having a new login, uh, getting another newsletter sent to your inbox, managing notifications, um, downloading the app to your phone, having that sync between your computer, having it run in the background every day where you're trying to manage it. Um, and most of these apps, you do have some sort of learning curve with it. But my job is to get my work done, period. To ensure that there are no hurdles for me to jump over or systems that I have to deal with throughout the day, the way I manage my tasks is I strip it down to the bare minimum. All I use is a notebook, post-it notes, and my email. So my notebook, um, it's a Baron Fig notebook. I'll leave a link to anything that I talk about in the description below if you wanna see the different tools and things that I use. Um, but for the notebook, I use this to track all of my big picture goals, my monthly goals, and then I break those down into weekly goals. Um, this has just been super awesome for me. Um, I've been using a notebook specifically for two months now, and it's made me a lot more productive. And this is an entire video in and of itself. Um, so I think that once I use it for this month and moving into the next month, maybe it'd be cool to do a video um, and show you the layout that I use uh, and how I actually do use my journal. So the notebook for me has been really awesome for the bigger picture stuff, monthly goals, weekly goals. Um, but for all of my daily tasks, I just use post-it notes. For the post-it notes, since I use them for just daily tasks, I never really have to look back on those sort of things. Um, so at the end of the day, I crumple it up and throw it into the recycling bin. But everything starts in email. And the only way that email works for me is by using the inbox zero method, which pretty much means that I'm always striving to have an empty inbox. Now, this isn't for everyone, but I have found that being just a single freelancer, that doesn't have anyone working with me, this process works incredibly well for me. Um, so when you have thousands upon thousands of emails sitting in your inbox, it can be kind of overwhelming. All you gotta do is archive it. Select everything, archive it all. You're just gonna move it from your inbox into the archive folder. So even at a quick search, you can still access everything when you need it. So when your inbox is empty and you're at zero, all you have to worry about is all the things that are then coming in. So every single morning, my routine is do a quick skim of my email. And basically what I do is I will delete anything that is not important. These are newsletters, um, emails that don't need my response. Then I archive anything that has some sort of importance, um, like receipts, um, back and forth, personal client emails, those sort of things that just no longer need my attention. And it just needs to get out of the inbox. Everything else I keep in my inbox. These are just the specific things that actually need my attention, things I need to reply to, clients I need to create designs for, those sort of things. So my email is sort of a catch all. So now that my inbox only has the things that need my attention, that's where the post-it notes come in. So every day after I quickly sift through my inbox or sometimes even um, the night before after I'm wrapping up for the day, I will create my to-do list on the post-it note. 
So I'm gonna take those emails that need my response and I'm going to prioritize them. And the way I prioritize things on the post-it note is I have what I call a, like an A1 task. This is the very first thing that I need to do the second I sit down at my desk to work. This just sort of gets me in the flow of working. Now, usually it's a task that I can do in like 10 or less minutes. Maybe it's like replying to a certain email, doing a quick revision, sending an invoice, that sort of task. And that just gets me in the flow of working. And then I will follow it up with other kind of A tasks. Those are things that absolutely need to get done like that morning um, that has kind of a tighter deadline. Then I have B tasks. These are things that I need to get done by the end of the day. These are must be done things. Um, and then I sort of prioritize them based on the project, whether I can quickly knock it out or is it something that has a lot of um, designs that need done for it. And so I kind of figure out what needs done, what has more importance. And so I have them in order for what I need to do that day. And then I might put like one C task. Uh, and this is a kind of a nice to have done something that's like add new work to my website or post to Instagram, things that I know I should be doing that helps keep me accountable, um, but aren't super imperative that like that needs needs to be done. It's just a nice to have done sort of task. And then I'll be completely honest, I don't always do this one, but my D task is a don't task. This is something that's like, I can't do this until A tasks are done. Most of the time for me that is don't watch YouTube or don't play on my phone. Uh, those sort of things that usually distract me. Once I actually have that out in front of me on my list, it's just a constant reminder. And it again, just helps keep me accountable. Then throughout the day, it's not uncommon that I do get emails from clients on quick revisions. Maybe they need a mock-up on a different kind of t-shirt. Maybe they want a color change or new lyrics swapped out, um, changing dates on the back of a tour shirt or something. And those things, um, just so it's not in my head, I write it down on the post-it note and I basically get to it when I can. Sometimes I can just knock it out immediately and move on. So when I do finish a task, I get the super satisfying feeling of crossing off that task and then I archive the email. So that email is now out of my inbox, out of my mind, and I can only focus on what the task is at hand. And again, the beautiful thing about archiving the emails is once that client then responds back for something, it gets moved back into my inbox. It still has the thread of our back and forth for referencing stuff. So that is pretty much my process on how I manage projects in a nutshell. Um, when I'm managing, you know, three or four projects, they are a constant reminder on my to-do list or on my email. And I just know how to prioritize those. Um, and it's taken me again, years of iterating this process you know, figuring out how you manage your time, projects, tasks, and stuff, um, it's going to be an iterative process for you as well. Uh, so hopefully by sharing some of how I do it, again, I do like the bare minimum. This is so simple for me to do. It takes seconds to sift through my email every single day and throughout the day, um, reply to stuff when needed. And again, getting that stuff out of my head is key for me. So that's why the journal has been really working out for me this year and why I have always gone back to using the post-it note. Again, to quickly recap this, I start every morning in my inbox. I delete everything uh, that's not important and I will archive everything that no longer needs my attention. Then I prioritize everything else that is left in my inbox. I start with that A1 task, the very first thing that I need to do the second I sit down. Then the task that needs done immediately. And then some of the tasks prioritized in what order of what needs to be done that day, along with some things that would be nice to do if I can get to them. And then sometimes uh, if I really need to have a focus day, that one thing I need to not do until the main things are done. Once a task is done, I cross it off my list, archive that email, and there's focus on the tasks at hand. Time management can feel super overwhelming, uh, especially when your entire career depends on you. Uh, and for me, being a freelancer, everything rests on my shoulders. Um, so hopefully by sharing how I simply manage my tasks, it can help you create your own process. Now, I would really love to hear from you. If you could just take one moment to leave a comment and let me know how you manage your time. Does it look similar to how I do things? Do you use a bullet journal? Is there an app that you absolutely live by? It would be so awesome to get a whole collection of people's recommendations and thoughts and tips on how they manage their time on this video. I would actually love to do a video diving into what a typical project looks like for me. So like once a project hits my inbox, 
what is that like when I'm replying to a client? Um, the different design iterations, how I actually submit designs to clients, once something approved, how I send an invoice and how that gets paid, um, and sort of what that looks like. Um, so if you have any questions, about that specific sort of process. Um, also leave them in the comments and maybe I will answer them in a future video. With that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, it really does help. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing, it's totally free. Now I think it's time that I cross this video off my to-do list and let's get back to work.